this is a fresh new week it's a new monday i have quite a lot to get done this week but first of all i need to take vesper to the vet so we need to leave in about five minutes so i can't chat for very long but we have physio this morning on his leg thank you so much for your continued well wishes as well with vesper he's doing really well i think he can hear you in spirit but he's doing really well he's got his physio today so we're gonna go there then i'm gonna drop him at Papa Bear's house, go to the post office because I don't want to leave Esper in the car on his own while I go to the post office. So I'll drop him at my dad's because that's on the way, and then I'll go back to my dad's after and then come home and stop for a cup of tea. Obviously, look what just arrived, guys. I'm a jigsaw person, I've always loved a jigsaw, but I'll admit I haven't done one for years until really recently. I got one for Christmas, and I was like, Oh, don't know if I'm a jigsaw person anymore, but I did it. And it was the most relaxing thing ever. It was a big Atlas world map thing. And when I finished it, I desperately wanted to do another one. And I found this one. It's like, a be it's just like such a beautiful image. It's a thousand piece, so hopefully it'll take me a while. Oh my goodness, look at all of the different ones you can get. That one is insane. I might have to put that one on my wish list. Oh, I didn't realise they're collector's editions. I don't need to say that right there, but oh, yeah, these two. Mm -mm. I'm going to keep a lookout in charity shops as well for jigsaws. But I thought it wouldn't hurt to just buy this one for myself. It's um, oh, it's beautiful. I can't wait to start it. I like doing them in the evenings, and it helps me to just switch off. I see it as a little bit of self care, a bit of self love, a bit of relaxation time, and I really enjoy doing it. There's something really therapeutic about organising the pieces and fitting them all together that I really enjoy so I've got this one for my self care evenings you have no idea how much this is needed today oh my goodness wah, 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 wah. so after that delivery I forgot to show you guys this last week but what I've started doing is salvaging packaging even more I salvage as much as I can anyway and reuse it and reuse it and reuse it until it is quite literally dead but I've started doing this now, so if I ever get things delivered in paper, or that's got paper padding in it, I flatten it all out, and I keep it as wrapping paper for prezzies and things. And my goal is to hopefully, maybe this Christmas coming, <laughs> thinking ahead here, hopefully have enough to wrap presents with. I think it looks quite cute when it's all crease and crumply. I think it has like mm, a little bit of character. It's rustic, it's rustic. So what I do is I just fold it. This is my stash building up. Look at this, keep it all here. Got lots of different colors of browns. Put it there and over time, I mean, this is just from maybe the arse end of last year and I've just started collecting it. I love wrapping things in brown paper anyway but I just thought I'd give it a go and see how far I can take it. I know paper can be recycled anyway and this stuff is usually recycled paper but I thought to try and eliminate waste even further, not even eliminate but just try and reuse things and reuse things and reuse things, take it literally as far as they go, stop making things quite as disposable as they actually are and seeing how much we can do. I challenge you to give it a go, if you would like. This is a prezi for a friend that I'm going to give next week, but this is paper from our wedding. So we got given a wedding gift, and this is paper that I've still had. I rolled it up, put it under the bed, and I've just reused it. Lovely, lovely paper. Speaking of recycled paper, I ordered these two from Jackson's when I got those pencils last week, and it's called Eco Paper, but look at the textures on this, you guys. Isn't it beautiful? It's like a really, I think, do you call it mulch? I can't remember if I asked my patrons this, but is it mulch when you make paper? Is it a mulchy substance? So there's that piece. One of them's rough and then one of them's extra rough. And then there's this one. That one actually feels a bit thicker, so maybe that one's extra rough. I'm not sure, but I just love the handmade feel to it and the jaggedy edges. I want to try doing my liquid watercolours on these and seeing how it takes, but I've got two sheets just to test them out and see how we get on. I'm just going to put those in there for now. Yes, 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 yes. So with these cut-off bits that you saw me chop off, I don't waste these either. 
I use them to draw on in my art journal. I always save like scraps of paper because this particular texture and colour I really like with a black fine liner or a black biro. So I always save these and use them as backgrounds to draw or paint on. I love it. It's like a junk journal. Oh, I haven't been awake long so I'm still in my pyjamas. Still drinking my coffee. And these arrived. Yes. Oh yes. So, you'll know that this is all I have left of my Prismacolor white pencil. It's not a lot. I do have a pencil extender, but it's too small even for that. And I was trawling around online trying to find a supplier for white Prismacolor pencils. Turns out, you guys, in the UK, they're a bit of a bitch to get hold of. But my mum found a website called artist pencils online and i managed to get some i think these were one pound 60 each and i got three just to sort of i don't know make better use of the postage his name's brian who sells these and i will link the shop down below but they were 160 each and i thought if i'm having to do the whole postage thing it was only 95p but i just thought i would make better use of that and buy three because the rate that I got through this one was madness, so I got three. And I do have the polychromo white one as well, it's just that I found these to be a bit better. This one's still a good performer, I think they're a similar price as well, but I just preferred this one for the kind of work that I do, the Prismacolor one. It's always hard when they both begin with a P, so polychromo, I still love you and you're a great backup. But these ones were something else so hopefully can get back on that chameleon now later in the week oh <laughs> just got way over strap i started this little guy this morning and i think he's really cute so far he's going to be perched on like a rock but um if you've seen how can i will get them out so these prints arrived last week, so I have a rabbit, a fox, and I've got this little guy, the badger, so I'm trying to do like a woodland animal collection. I love my woodland animals, and patrons, keep an eye on your wooden pin club boxes because I've added a, um, a mystery, a mystery animal into your boxes, and it's only going to be available for patrons, so that's like a surprise one for you guys. Yes, I'm going to do a badger, and this one's going to be pink. I'm just trying to experiment a bit and make the most out of different colour palettes and try and restrict myself to colours and just see what happens and this one, I have to say this one was the first one that I did and I was really really happy with it and then I did the bunny and yeah I'm excited to see how the badger turns out. Also here's Mr Pig. <laughs> whole new stash of a five hardback envelopes for my patron sticker tier parcels 
I'm going to work on those at the weekend. They just need finishing off. And now I'm going to work on the April pin design. Mm, it's time for a bit of lunch with some Netflix. I have some sourdough bread on the side. Leftover soup from last night. I made a massive fat <laughs> potato and leek soup. And I'm ready for it. Mm. Hello you guys, I'm going to try not to bash my head on the corner of this shelf. I'm having to like, can I put the blind up a bit more? <sighs> the sunshine is becoming a problem. I'm happy to see you and all, but make your mind up. Are you coming or going? So this week, it's now Thursday, hello. This week has been one of those weeks where I haven't been able to share very much of what I've been up to, but believe me when I say I have got a lot done. I will read out to you my lovely list. So I've sent some invoices off because I've had a few people interested in pet portraits recently. So I've done those. I've sent those off and I'm just waiting for photos to come through of the pets. One of them is actually Vespa's brother so that'll be really exciting to do. I'm really looking forward to that one in particular. They're all dogs, which excites me a lot. You know me and my doggers. I have designed the April pin for Wooden Pin Club for Patreon. And I've also been doing my March sticker sheets for Patreon as well. And the March content schedule as well for Patreon. It's all about Patreon this week. I have been prepping my Patreon March Wooden Pin Club boxes. And then I did two pieces of artwork, I've done a badger and another mystery animal, one of which is going to be the March patron extra prezi bit that goes in the box and the other one is the badger so that one will be in the shop next week hopefully, I think they might arrive at the weekend. I've ordered in supplies and that's pretty boring, like mailboxes, envelopes, tissue paper, sticker paper, all that kind of thing. I also went to my peer box yesterday and picked up one of the cutest little care packages from one of my patrons, um, Jo, and she also included a white Prismacolor pencil. I don't know where she found it, but I'm a little bit in awe of where she managed to find this bad boy. So I now have four, and believe me, I'll say it again, I got through the last white Prismacolor it was, it just shrunk and shrunk and shrunk because I used the white one, like the white colour is my most used colour. So the fact that I've got another one just to keep me going. Thank you so much Jo, this really means a lot. Oh, just, mm, they're like gold dust. I think now that I've realised that they can be quite difficult to get hold of in the UK, I'm just like, yes, another white Prismacolor pencil. So I'm going to keep this very safe and put it with the rest of them. And having some pet portraits coming up, the more the merrier. So thank you so much, Jo. I really, really appreciate this. guys I thought I don't actually know if anything's happened vlog worthy since I last spoke to you I think I'm also in the same jumper so today um, I have just been sat on my desk trying to prioritize things because I've got quite a few videos 
um, to film like a couple more segments for like there's three different videos going up on Patreon next week um, which reminds me of something else I'll talk about in just a second something I will address juicy but because I've got three different videos coming out and a studio vlog it's my own fault I've put all of the videos together and I just didn't realize until I looked at my content schedule after I'd published it and I was like oh well done Alice you've got a ton of videos to do all at the same time but I'm actually really excited for them and I've enjoyed making them so this morning it's only just 10 o'clock this morning I have filmed a sketchbook tour with all of these bad boys and because I've got videos to do, I've been trying to like prioritise in my head like right this one comes out on this day and this one comes out on this day. I've also decided that rather than do just the one wooden pin order this weekend for the April wooden pin for Patreon, I thought at the same time I would order a second pin that's going to go in the shop. The design is yet to be made. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> but hopefully by the end of today I'll have some sort of idea. But I've also wanted to go back to the chameleon and I haven't touched him all week. I was waiting for the pencils because I couldn't go back to it without the white pencils. And speaking of pencils, you guys, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to Stephanie because I'm a little bit gobsmacked and still in a bit of shock that this happened. Um, but Stephanie told me not to buy any more polychromo pencils. You guys know that for the past few weeks, few months even, I have been buying one by one the polychromo pencils trying to build up my collection. At the moment I just have a few neutrals, a couple of greens and a couple of pinks. Literally not very many and I've been building them up slowly, slowly, slowly. Stephanie told me don't buy any more. So I went to my peer box on Wednesday and these were in there. I. I'm speechless, I don't know what to say, I have spoken to Stephanie already, I just thought I'd say thank you in the vlog as well because I just Stephanie I just I don't know what to say I'm just thank you so much for sending these they really do mean the world and as I've said so many times this week I get through so many pencils at the moment so I really do appreciate you guys sending pencils it's the cutest thing ever and obviously it's very very helpful to everything that I'm doing right now it's just I'm just so grateful that I've got a stash now of pencils Sylvia's pencils, Joe's pencils, Stephanie's pencils, <laughs> the pencils that I bought from Brian earlier this week. Thank you so much, all of you. It really means the world. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is quite funny, actually, because I've just done my, my Patreon content schedule for March, and it is chocked for next month. I have had so many ideas, and I've decided to just do them, do them all. There's something I want to talk about because <laughs> I received an email the other day and it was through my shop and it basically said that I should put all of my YouTube content onto Patreon and put more stuff onto Patreon. Not only is this idea ludicrous, and I'll tell you why, Patreon is, if you're on Patreon anyway, you'll know how much I put into Patreon. There are, I'm going to count for you. There's at least 11 different pieces of content for March over on Patreon, just for March. And when you sign up, you get the backtracked everything, the archived stuff, everything is on there for your tier. And that's just like scheduled stuff, so any other spontaneous live videos and newsletters and stuff that I choose to put out, that's all additional. But this person basically told me to put everything on Patreon. That's not okay, that's not, and the reason I don't do that guys is because not everybody is in a position, God this is becoming long winded, I do apologise. The reason I don't do that is because not everybody is in a position or wants to sign up to Patreon. The reason my Patreon page exists is because of my YouTube channel. I don't want to abandon my YouTube channel for starters, as crap as things have been recently and I don't know how this video is going to perform. Um, thank you so much by the way for your engagement on the last video because it really really did help. YouTube is something I really love to make the videos, I love interacting with you guys, I love meeting new people and chatting to you all. I want to be accessible for you guys, I don't want it to be a case of well you have to come to Patreon if you want to see me anymore. Because studio vlogs are really helpful to people, it's insightful to see how people work 
and not everybody's in a position to go to Patreon. So the other thing was stop being personal, stop sharing personal bits of life. And I don't know whether this was referring to the recent events um, or just personal life in general, but how am I to be relatable and a real life person and not just some business robot behind the camera if I'm just gonna talk business all the time? Oh. And even if it is referring to recent events and talking out about that, I refuse to keep my mouth shut. It's already a taboo subject and being told to pipe down and not talk about it isn't acceptable in my eyes. The amount of people that have come forward and sent messages and emails and sharing your stories and talking out about miscarriage and pregnancy loss or infertility problems we all need to stand together and support each other through something like this and to be told to not talk about it that's never going to be what my channel is i'm never going to stop talking about real life stuff because it's real life shit that actually happens i don't usually get this high rate but you know the reason i'm mentioning this particular email is because i've also been told to not use the color pink anymore because i won't stand out and that i just get lost and that too many other people already use pink. It just... <laughs> just stop. Just be kind, people. Just be a kind person. You know? <sighs> Last time I checked, it wasn't that difficult to just be nice. So, to conclude, no, I will not shut up about personal issues. No, I will not stop using the colour pink. Are we in some movie like Mean Girls where you can't wear pink or use pink on a certain day, just stop it. And three, no. No, no, no. The channel will remain running. Not everything is going on Patreon. Patreon have extra things. That is the point of Patreon. If you want more of my face, that's what Patreon is for. So on that note, guys, I'm going to go to the post office because I have a birthday present for my lovely friend Leander Post. Don't use the colour pink. <laughs>